Hi guys, this is uh, Leo. Um, today I'm going to explain you how to patch uh, .9.png images. Um, hope it can help because uh, um, I have seen most teamers um, that uh, don't know how to properly patch uh, this kind of format. So, um, first of all, uh, what you need to do is to, in, in this case I'm using uh, APK manager and uh, so I will show you uh, what happens when you try to decompile an APK that has uh, um, um, bad patches for .9.png images. So let me bring up a uh, project uh, with bad PNG. Yeah, I can use uh, yeah this one. Okay, so this is the APK tool um, main window, and uh, I will try to decompile this framework res dot APK. Okay, nine to decompile, and I will show you at the end of this process um, yeah okay it's already finished so I will show you the, um, the log text file and uh, yeah here we go so what happened is that we received a lot of uh, worrying message um, because uh, yeah can't find nine patch chunk in file so what the APK manager does is to rename, try to rename the .9.png to uh, .png images, and this is really bad because the meaning of the .9.png images is to add more information to the images to um, f that um, can be used for information like padding and uh, and the stretch ball uh, area. So this is a special format that Google introduced to um, this uh, image that basically tell the system how to handle correctly stretchable images. Um, so if you if we open the project, so we go inside the the compiled APK, uh, REST Drawable HDPI, we will see. Let me find one of those. Yeah, this one for example. So we will see two copy of the same images, and one is uh, renamed as uh, .png, but the original one with bad patches is .9.png. This is really bad because um, you can't compile again this APK because you have two um, two images with the same file name with the uh, for the same id resources this is bad so what timer does uh, just to delete this dot nine dot png and keep the dot png one and uh, yeah you can easily understand that this is not the right way because we lost all the information we need and this can result in uh, yeah in the past i experienced a uh, boot loop as well for this reason but yeah you can see if you have a framework or whatever APK with bad patches, you can uh, you can see it by you know you can see maybe uh, text overlapping inside bottom or uh, or something like that. So um, now I will explain you how to um, how to properly patch an image like that yeah maybe not this one because I'd like to show you something more simple like this one okay so bt and uh, default uh, press press it dot nine dot png oh um, here we have all the compiled dot nine dot png this is very important because uh, if you want to change um, the shape or the you know the color for the for a .9.png image that has already been compiled, so 
I'm what I mean is uh, if you extract uh, unzip just an, an APK and uh, you want to change straight away this dot nine dot pn dot png image after you um you edit this image and then apply patch later on I will s I will uh, show you how to do it you need to recompile again this APK so my advice is, is to um, to always use a tool like APK manager or APK tools or whatever you like so in this way you can recompile dot nine dot png images uh, in a simple way Okay, let's say we want to change uh, color for uh, this dot uh, nine dot png button image. Okay, um, first of all, we need to rename this uh, this image as dot png. So we have to take away dot nine. Then we can. Oh, okay, here you can already see in the preview this uh, black. Uh, line to the edge yeah of the image so now we can hide it uh, in my case I'm using uh, G GIMP we can hide it this image I will show you yeah this is not the main purpose of this tutorial but um, the things you need to know f that first of all you need to remove this information you know this uh, this information to the border of this image. So I will I will uh, recite this image. I mean I am not scaling the image. Just recites the area, drawable uh, area. So uh, by mm, two pixels. So 69 will be 67, and uh, 60 75 will be 73. Then center the image and apply. Yeah, you can see I removed this information. Now we go. I will change the color, uh, something like like that. Okay, I want to, uh, I want to be green. Okay, that's it. Finished. We can save this image. And now we have the images without uh, patch. Uh, since this image will be used from a system for you know display some text inside, and also um, when you when you put your device in the landscape mode, Android need to know uh, how to stretch these images. So without any patch, uh, this will result bad, uh, even for text displayed inside that uh, will most probably will uh, overlap the the button image background. So. Um yeah um you the requirement are the java sdk installed in your system and also the android sdk um you can find the tool uh draw 9 patch inside android android sdk tools and here we go draw 9 patch so i will uh i will write draw 9 patch and here we go. These uh, windows will come up, and uh, w uh, what we need to do is just to uh, drag and drop the image we just modified. That's it. Now, um, in this window, you can see the left side on the left side a preview windows. The first, uh, the first image on the top will show you how the image will stretch in vertical. The second image will show you how to the image stretch in uh, horizontal, and the last image will show you both. So uh, on the left side, uh, we can see that this uh, area is gray out. This means that you can't add any information in uh, this area. So the only things you can you can do is. Uh, is to add information so in this case black uh, pixel to the top on the left and the bottom and the uh, right side of uh, the edge of these images um, we can remove show locks because it's not very useful for now and uh, now the first thing we need to do is to apply padding uh, rules for this image 
By padding rules, I, I mean not only the text padding, because inside this button, maybe we will have another PNG image. So uh, the padding is not only for text, it's for whatever uh, will be within this, uh, um, this button in this case. So I will, I will put this black pixel here and black pixel here and then I will show you what is the meaning of this okay uh, let's have a look to the, 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 the right side of this window and um, uh, tick show content yeah maybe sorry let me do another things before and I will explain later on what, what I'm doing okay so uh, show content here if you uh, play with patch scale uh, you can zoom out and you can see that this uh, bl blue square is the area within the, the text or another image will be uh, take place so basically uh, the the vertical line will say the will uh, yeah will say the the rules for um, top padding and bottom padding so if you remove a pixel by by pressing uh, shift uh, you can see here on the preview screen that we are reducing this area so basically we are we are um, mm, we are adjusting the 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 padding the ba the bottom padding you see yeah maybe the first one yeah the same thing for the top padding so if i remove pixel okay you can see so in this way if you see the the second image here you will um, yeah we will notice you will notice that the the let's say that this button will contain just text and uh, you will say that the string will be within this uh, gray blue area so it's pretty much simple to understand uh, how to uh, put this uh, this information for padding so this is for i repeat uh, once again this is for vertical padding or uh, top padding and bottom padding and the horizontal one to the to the bottom uh, edge of this image is uh, used for um, the the horizontal padding so padding left and padding right so pretty much simple right now now the, the the most important information we need to put on this uh, image is the the rules to to um, to handle the stretchable images. So on the um, top uh, edge we can uh, we can put I show you several pixel black pixel and I will show you the same here. Okay, if you take um, show patches, okay, what we can see is that all, yeah, let's take first the, the example for the top, um, for the top pixel I have, I have added. So, um, all these pixel within this vertical, yeah, the, basically this rectangle area will be used to stretch the image. This means that only these pixel will be repeated. So the image outside this uh, vertical rectangle will be left as you can see. In fact, if you play with the patch scale and we see the second image that represent the, the horizontal stretching, if we will see that this image we will stretch and we will keep you know the round corner. For instance, if I remove this this information, yeah, I will put only um, yeah, I know, like here, a pixel here. Okay, what we can see. Okay, we have already the patch scale here to the maximum. You can see that this is the original image, this one. And this pixel, so the, the pixel uh, within this, just this line in this case, will be, uh, you know, duplicated to, in order to, sh to, to show the stretchable images. And this is not good, as you can see here. 
this is bad patches so what we need to do in this case of course depends on the image we are going to, to play with but in this case we need to repeat just the central pixel you can even in this case you can even put just one pixel and ok here is we can see the results is look pretty much good if you see the, the last image here you can see that the this this will show boot stretching vertical and horizontal you can see that ha uh, the patch i put here on the left edge of this image uh say that all these pixels inside this area will be used to to stretch in a uh, uh, vertical and here the results is not so good because you can see this you know that this this line between these two color uh, still is up still he is here it's not stretchable in the right uh, stretch it in the right way <laughs> here we go we have the image that looks good you know This because we are saying okay, just repeat this pixel, to this pixel inside this line, and this other pixel inside this line. So this uh, this shape will b will remain um, as we see. So you can see here the results. So yeah, maybe let me center a little bit. This yeah, here we can see is a centered. Have a look. Oh, this is the right patch for this kind of image. Of course, you need to play a bit to to see what will be the 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 the, the right patch for your image. Now we can save this image. So save nine path default preset. Here we go. So when we we s we save this image will will be not replace it but another image will be created with dot nine dot png extension so if we go back here to the project uh, the apk project okay you can see how our image and the one without dot nine dot png image can be deleted because we just patched a okay. that's it now when we we go back to the main window of the APK manager project and we hit uh, 11 option that will compile the APK everything will go through and we will have these uh, images that has been changed in color and uh, also correctly patched that's it see you next time thanks for watching